your ground, men! Don't fire! Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! Pick him. Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Bravest! Break us! They are not coming back. We will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or not? Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads them. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Go on now! Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm met up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I've enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. 
<clears throat> you ladies finish gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Sir! Mount the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Hold fire! signal. We did it! 
They're turning tail! It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is pay, no man better suited sir, to the task. To really? The that I can no think of seven. Could have Charles Lee. To have this arduous employment at the Do I know you? I would not expect you to remember. <laughs> I Come, I Connor. To there's someone I want you to problems. meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those like that, I but doubt not they the will last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. Connor... Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Still here, are you? A long journey. Hmm. Not sure I'd have the sea legs in me to embark again so soon. Nah, I'll rest a while. I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. 
But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Yes, I saw that on my way through Hartford. Terrible fire. It's incredible any part of the old hall remains standing. I'm not a man to forget what's owed me, I assure you. But he's a good lad. I can be patient. and state your business! <laughs> 